Welcome back to another video. We start our walk today at Red Rock Station. This opened on the 1st of December 1869 and it closed to passengers on the 26th of September 1949. The station is now a private residence but we're going to start our walk today in what would have been the goods yard. The railway station on the Lancashire Union Railway line ran from Blackburn via Trawley to Boar's Head Junction. It had two platforms. The six mile joint line was constructed because the Wigan coal owners needed a better way to get coal to the mills in the north east of Lancashire. The down waiting room at Red Rock Station was kept locked as it was for the sole use of the Lindsay family who lived at Hay Hall. In 1946, the Lindsay family moved away from Hay Hall and the waiting room was then opened to the general public. A typical timetable for July 1922 was eight trains each way between Monday and Saturday, no trains on a Sunday, and still in 1932 it still had eight trains each way. On the 1st of January 1948 the line became part of the British Railways London Midland region and the summer timetable for 1948 dropped from eight trains down to four up and two down. Trains ran only Monday to Saturday. With such a poor level of service, the passenger service was withdrawn on the 26th of September 1949. The line remained open for just good services until the 2nd of September 1957, and until the mid 60s, the line had been singled and only good services and passenger diversions were in use. They ceased in October 1971 and the line was closed. We're now going to go for a walk, so put your wellies on and let's see what we can find. We notice on the right that part of the old platform edge is still visible through the undergrowth, but nature is slowly taking it back. a milestone in the undergrowth. Milestones are usually placed at one side of the line and they basically tell you a, a defined distance from a set origin, usually an important station or a junction. We think this one is marking out one mile from Boar's Head Station. The first bridge we came to uh, on the line is Arley Lane. Most of the bridges on the railway line tend to be designed by the same engineer. Arley Aqueduct number 18 was the next bridge we came to. This takes the Leeds Liverpool Canal over the railway. We'll just nip up to the top of the canal and have a quick look. The 
they're just like sticking all over nowhere. Just through the bridge, we stumbled upon what we think was a, an old line side hut, but we're not 100% we're not sure. I said it before, I'll say it again, you're going to need you always. <laughs> Insulated. Oh yeah. I'm looking at that there. You pointed at that and said insulator. Notice some old Lancashire and Yorkshire insulators on the brackets under the bridge. We found some similar to this at the old Horwich branch line. Another railway bridge where Arley Lane uh, crosses over the railway. This one looks to have had some strengthening work done to it and it looks pretty modern. Uh, I don't think it's anything to do with the, uh, the old railway. Bridges are in reasonably good condition, aren't they? Yeah, probably. Another find, uh, bottom of a signal, uh, just laying the undergrowth. At this point in the line, we're at the site of the old clay pits. This is to our right and Arley Brickworks is on our left. The map suggests that the railway ran over a bridge here. Maybe they used the clay from the pit to make the bricks.
of a mile post would suggest that we're two miles from Boar's Head Station. The farm in the distance is at a site what was known as Brink's Colony. This opened in 1899 and closed in 1901. The old pit shaft can be seen in the woods on the far right. As we walk along the track bed, we come to the site of an old hamlet known as Aberdeen. The mineral line went under the main railway at this point into the colliery to allow the loading of coal onto barges. The boatman's arms was placed between the Leeds Liverpool Canal and the mineral railway in an area called Aberdeen. It also had farm cottages and a bridge over the canal. The pub's location near the canal was clearly intended to provide refreshment to the many thirsty barge workers travelling up and down the newly developed canal system. As the canal construction in this area was completed around 1810 to 1820 and the pub was opened for business in 1870, it is assumed that it was constructed at some point between these times. The pub closed in 1960 and is now a private house. Yeah. So this is an excited signal box. Everybody jumps across. There he goes. Woo!
We're now stood on what would have been the old track bed, heading in towards uh, White Burr Station. It would have been double track uh, at this point. The station was located on the western edge of Adlington, just to the east of the canal. The shelter and the booking office on the Charlie platform survived the knocking down of the station. The rest of the station in the goods yard is no more, another piece of history gone. This is all that remains now of White Bear Station that closed in 1960. The old booking office and the steps that took you down onto the platform. At White Burr Station, Mr. Leonard Fircroft had on display an 060 locomotive 1122, which had been restored by apprentices from Horwich Works. The local was on display for many years in the yard and can now be seen at the East Lancashire Railway. We hope you liked our walk from Red Rock Station. Please like, subscribe and click the notification bell to see our next adventure.